not going to make a good video. <laughs> Got an awesome one today, y'all. Uh, Brian from Smoked Red Barbecue is driving up. What he doesn't know is I know he's kind of a fan of ballistic barbecue. Greg is actually flying in right now to surprise him. And up till now, I haven't blown it with my big mouth, though I've come close twice. I don't know why this is twice. Twice. Um, so that's going to be fun. The plan today, we're just going to be dudes barbecuing all day. We're going to load up the Lone Star Grills with a bunch of possibly suspect meat that's been in my brother-in-law's freezer for two years. My wife had really good spidey senses about this pandemic. She felt like price of meat was going to go up, so she bought a bunch of stuff. And he was nice enough to hold it for us, and now it's an ice block. Thanks for loaning us space in your freezer. You're a good guy. <laughs> Uh, didn't take didn't take too much hot water to get it out of there <laughs> which is exactly what you want from barbecue like the more icy and stuck together the meat is the better off it will be <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting video <laughs> it's gonna be a great time this is just the type of video I just love love to make and it's the type of day I love to have so happy you're here it's gonna be a lot of fun or you know we're gonna get rained on either way we're gonna have a good time oh he's here wait Stay right there. You made it! How's it going? Hey! Hey, let me introduce you to my uh, son. <laughs> you surprised? <laughs> I tried my best to like not talk to you as much as possible because I was certain I was gonna blow this. But we've had this going like since right after that day you and I talked on the phone. <laughs> You're a lot taller than I pictured. Yeah, yeah. Kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Feel, uh, inadequate right now, vertically. Yeah. <laughs> you do this camera angle then, because it really does make you look smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do it like this. That way you look like a suit. That's it. That's this is the shot you need to do from here on out. Just yeah, like this. this. You're gonna laugh when you see this because it makes you look like like Thor. <laughs> get the just give him a little more facial hair. All right, so this is, this meat has been, it's been in the freezer for a really long time. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Uh, what do you think? Well, I think you're fine with these because they're cryo -vac I mean, it's nice and tight. Okay. chamber vac I mean, the problem with this is it's in the store packaging and it's how old? <laughs> Two years. Yeah, the chicken <laughs> does not look good. So like, it looks janky. <laughs> I mean, it looks gross, like yellowish and, and off-colored. Freezer burned. It's going to taste like a, yeah. a wet, nasty sock. So none of this is going to waste. We're gonna. <laughs> we're going to be saving all of this to make our own beef tallow and soup stock. And, and I'll tell you, when you see a YouTuber say that, they're lying. <laughs> I will make sausage. I will make. I will make sausage and soup stock and consommé. None of it goes to waste. This is the problem with cooking briskets, or at least trimming briskets. The job never stops. You just, you just quit. Well, the more you trim, the less the cooking time. <laughs> <laughs> Let it speak to you. <laughs> What's it telling you right now? Uh, Eat more chicken. <laughs> Again, nothing is going to waste here. We are having brisket fat sandwiches tomorrow for lunch, <laughs> brisket sausages for breakfast. Oh yeah, 100%. Brisket sausage, brisket creole, brisket gumbo, and Then brisket. we're going to repurpose the tray oh, yeah. into hats. Oh. <laughs> right. Yeah, I might just use it as a cod piece. Oh, I'm gonna need more foil. <laughs> a cod piece. <laughs> we're not going crazy comp trim. Oh. Nice work, Brian. She's coming along. You should, you should start a barbecue channel. You should start a barbecue I'm channel. dead serious. Just the whole video, I'm just gonna accentuate, accentuate your height. height. Just like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as, as the world should should see me. Yes. Yeah. Like Don't bump your head on the, on the ceiling. Brian, that looks really pretty. Thanks. Good job. Greg's not quite as tall as Brian. But your I told nice. you, shoot up no. when you're shooting oh, at me. I, I, you, don't, you don't shoot down on a man holding <laughs> it's true. You gave him a nice clean shave, like you, you kind of <laughs> lifted up the, the flap. The well, this video is 
sponsored by Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, no. Lone Star Grills, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> I'm starting not to worry as much about the whole uh, been in the freezer for two years thing. Oh, the meat looks good. So you're calling it? I'm gonna quit. I'm not, I'm not calling it done. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna use Harry's. Yeah, we'll just use Harry's. I'll get, uh, do you have any? Yeah. Well, let's just use Harry's on both. Or okay. is there another beef rub in there? We'll, we'll try them out. They'll, okay. They'll be fun. So, yeah, we'll do a comparison. This is the rub closet, also known as the. You wanna. Um, Laundry room? Wanna, you wanna try Meatheads? Sure. Red Meat Rub. Can try it? Hello, my name is Meathead. Say, all the rosemary in there. Yeah, that's his thing. He's he's like a herbaceous guy. Did I say herbaceous? <laughs> herbaceous. He likes the rosemary and the thyme and all that. Well, if you're in like Great Britain, herbaceous would be correct. Which is what I was thinking. I'm, that's where I'm from. Speaking of herbaceous, do you have any Worcester sauce? Yeah. Worcestershire sauce? Yeah, it's uh, right there in the... Harry Sue's in, in Harry in Sue's pantry? In Harry Sue's pantry, yes. Read at the pantry. I hope uh, Justin's wife doesn't get upset at me because it's not nice to go to somebody's house and steal all their food. I recognize this lid. There you go. Nice. But check this out. I mean, it, I mean, this looks like a prime rib rub. It really does. I mean, I've it never, smells like it too. It, it smells really good. Yeah. I'm, I'm just really curious again how how well this is going to bark up. You know, with the the herbs, those big old pieces of rosemary. It's gonna be interesting. It'll be good. Looking forward to. I can it. tell by smelling it. I mean, yeah, really it smells good. great. Yeah, that is. Oh, this this one I've used a million times. Harry does good work. He really does. Like especially with these things. Have you ever used this? Mm. Smell it. I love this stuff. That's the OBQ. Oh wow. Does that smell good? It smells like there was like allspice in it. Allspice, yeah. Yeah. But it was like a like like dessert. This, yeah, yeah, like a yeah. Like a breakfast morning waffle. Like a, yeah, like a, a sugar, toast. like a French yeah. French toast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. That's it. But, but I like to use this just like lay down a base, like like with the flying swine or whatever, mm -hmm. and then then sprinkle all of that on top of it. Let's do that. Flying swine okay. right here. OBQ, sweet and heat, pork butt. Tall guy. Let's do this. Oh, look, our stance right there. Oh, wow. Our stance. Oh, look at the speed. Look at the speed. That is a guy who knows his way. I've seen a few who seen a few pork butts. <laughs> Guys just left. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad we got a chance to hang out tonight. We got all the food prep for tomorrow. We're gonna have a full grill. I think Brian was sufficiently surprised and I'm just looking forward to hanging out with him tomorrow. Y'all stick with me. We'll get this party started. <sighs> May have a storm or two, but if we do, we'll plow through it. It'll be fun. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. We are now out. It is the very next day. We have some amazing uh, meat on the Lone Star Grills, cooking up with some post oak at around 250 degrees. Should be a great day. Can't wait to see how they turn out. My rain. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Too tired. I'm thinking. I'm spritzing at the most. I think I can use that. <laughs> so guys, we've been cooking for like three hours now and obviously it's great to have these guys here. I have, we did something fun. Played five questions with both Ballistic Barbecue and Smoked Red Barbecue. What's the strangest rabbit hole you've been down on YouTube lately? Well, there's this thing called mud larking. <laughs> have you heard of it? I'm gonna add that at the end to kind of peek behind the curtain, get to know those guys a little bit more. So stick around to the end. But for now, let's take a look at these briskets and pork butt and see how we're doing. Again, three hours in, cooking about 250 the whole time. Let me get this in here, Brian. So yeah, we got the bark forming here. You can definitely tell the difference between Meathead's rub and Harry Sue's rub. This is much more herbaceous. Um, and, and you can kind of see that, man, the smell, doesn't it smell good? Yeah. It smells fantastic. And here's our pork butt. So yeah, we got, we got some good crust forming. It's starting to dry out, a little bit of cracks in there. We got a long ways to go, 
but it smells like we're doing great. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I can't believe how little work you need to do for, for fire management or fire control. You know, it's it's actually this grill. Like, I've had other offsets and they're a lot harder to manage. Yeah. yeah. Mine was, I chalk it up to being the cheap offset. Yeah. The old, old one. But well, is, it's cheap offset. Driven. It's cheap offset, and then it's also uh, smaller offsets. Like a yeah. bigger one actually holds temps a lot better. Three quarter inch—I mean, a uh, quarter inch steel makes a big difference. But yeah, this is—I've this, I've enjoyed this one. This is better than the bigger name in terms of control. He's an artist with salt. Salt Greg. Salt Greg is way cool. Hold on, wait. Salt Bay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Greg. What are you doing today? This is sort of a inspired recipe from when I was a kid. There was a rest, restaurant, there was a, it was a small chain of restaurants in California called Love's Wood Pit Barbecue. Mm -hmm. And it was one of the reasons why I fell heavily in love with barbecue. And um, they went out of business and I went on a quest trying to recreate. It tastes a lot like my memories of, of their barbecue. Okay. And I love it. So we're, we're about to try the barbecue that inspired the barbecue guy. Exactly. This is going to be something. Yes. I'm excited. The OG. It's going to be good. So you want me to move these or just kind of put them around the edges or put them on top? What do you want me to do with them? You can slide out that top bit yeah. on top. Yeah. We're six hours in. Let's go and check these briskets and pork butt out. Mm. Nice. That looks good. Really <laughs> good. Nice and juicy. I don't even think we need to spritz these. No. Oh, those look great. What do you think about these ribs, Greg? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a little spritz, a little spritz in. All right. Looking good though. Good. You want to flip or spin, or you think they're good like they are? No. Yeah. You, you have gloves on. Yeah. Would you mind? Uh, let's rotate this a little that way. I don't think we need to flip them just yet. Bet. Yeah, that's good. Nice. All right, let's back it up. Back to bed, guys. So I just temped the briskets. They're at like 160. The ribs clearly look like they're ready to wrap. So uh, it's time to wrap. Time to wrap. Time to wrap. Let's wrap it. Those look good. Hopefully they'll taste good. I mean, they should be illegal. Oh crap. <laughs> yeah, no pressure at all. This is just your whole childhood on the line here. <laughs> These have curvy bones. Hey, thanks for oh, stopping man. by, dude. Absolutely, guys. This is Jacob from 1096 Cycling. Y'all go check out his YouTube channel. He's a good friend of mine. Pump for some ribs. Here, actually, 
public servant first. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, what do you think? I'll give that a big old A+. <laughs> oh. Dude, those look good. Can I grab one? Yeah, go ahead. These are good. Yeah, not too sweet. Not mm. Mm. It's a big, nice smoke ring. It's not real dark, but it's pretty broad. <laughs> Yeah, I bet that would bloom. I mean, you yeah. literally just chopped into it. Yep. Yeah. Mr. Marlowe, what do you think? I approve this message. Mm -hmm. That's good. See, and the good thing is, this is just the warm up. These are the snack. These are... This is the best call I've ever been to, for sure. <laughs> no. What are you on a CC right now? Yes, exactly. I'm going to get all your names, your birthdays, and uh, <laughs> last four of your social police. You got it. Police jokes. <laughs> All right, so we've been cooking all day. How long has it been? How long has it been? A long time. Nine hours, ten hours? Nine hours. Whew. It feels like it's been longer than that. What time? It's nine o'clock now. Nine o'clock now. Yeah, Twelve hours. Yeah. Yeah. All day. One of the briskets is done. The other one and the pork butter are actually going to neighbors tomorrow. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try what we got. We think it's the, is it the meathead rub? Is it? I think it's the meathead rub that's done. Okay. And the Harry Sue is, wasn't done. It was too, still too tough. This has been a fun day. It has been really fun. I appreciate y'all coming. Appreciate y'all being here. <laughs> he said, y'all, y'all. guys. Texas, y'all. <laughs> smells very familiar, but not like brisket. Smell this really fast. It smells like minestrone soup. Yeah, you're right. It really does. Oh, it's, yeah. it's got... Is that <laughs> <a video>? Yeah. <laughs> it smells like minestrone it soup. It does. I mean, it smells it good. It smells good. Yeah, it's definitely different, though. That's what do you think? I, we'll see how the soup tastes. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, all right, one last, one last tall guy shot. Oh, here so, I am. Check out the shot. It looks like the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs>
It looks good, man. Yeah, it does. It does. This smoke ring is just ridiculous. It yeah. looks painted on at this point. It doesn't even look yeah. real. Yeah. yeah. This is this is actually what it looks like. I mean, people are going to see it. Ah, what did you do? In it doesn't look real. Yeah, 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 it doesn't look real. Yeah. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate you coming to spend the day with me. Anytime. Thank you for the invite. Yep. Yeah. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. All right, I got these great YouTubers here, so I'm going to play a new game here for Baby Back Maniac Channel, and we'll just call it Five Questions. Let's get to know our guests, shall we? All right, Brian, real quick. What's the name of your channel? What's your favorite thing to cook? Smoked Reb Barbecue. Favorite thing to cook is a brisket. How long have you been doing YouTube, and what's your favorite part about being on YouTube? Favorite part about being on YouTube, I'll right, answer the second question first, is to interact with community, I'm here with some amazing barbecuers I've been following for a very long time. Love being able to hang out with them and embrace embrace that, the, the friendships that we have to made. And I forgot the first question. How long have you been on YouTube? I've been on YouTube since February of 2013. What's the strangest YouTube rabbit hole you've gone down recently? Recently, uh, my daughter likes to make a lot of Lego sets. So, uh, well, we, we were watching a video, time lapses of them being built. And there are quite a few out there and a lot, a lot to watch. And it's pretty interesting to see. What do you do for your day job? I am a, um, I'm, in, I'm currently in the military. I'm a former ICBM launch officer. What does that mean? What do you do? So the uh, go out into the vastness of the Montana countryside, go pull alert uh, in a nuclear silo. Oh, wow. So if money was no object, what would you do with your time all day long? I would, ideally, I'd like to get a nice big ranch style home have a nice big a big bookcase of many leather bound books and uh, and, and start reading <laughs> and that's five questions with smoked red barbecue right, five questions with greg greg what's the name of your channel and what's your favorite thing to cook i actually have two channels ballistic barbecue and ballistic burgers and my favorite thing to cook barbecue wise is honestly beef ribs i love a nice, rare to find, thick, meaty rack of beef back ribs. That's my all-time favorite. Oh, sounds good. Okay, how long have you been making videos and what's your favorite part about being on YouTube? I shot my first YouTube cooking video September 2009. And my favorite, honestly, the favorite thing about YouTube is all the, all the genuine friendships that I've uh, developed uh, through the years, um, not only with fellow creators, but with uh, viewers. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the strangest rabbit hole you've been down on YouTube lately? Well, there's this thing called mud larking. <laughs> Have you heard of it? <laughs> you've told me about it. <laughs> so these 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 folks in England, they wander down to the they call it the foreshore of the Thames. The, we call it the Thames River. And there's so much history in, in London that apparently they were big time litter bugs back in the day. They disposed of all the things they didn't want and some things they did want in the river and they're still there. So they're, they're walking around, just wandering around at low tide and they're pulling um, like clay pipes that they smoked from the 1700s. There's areas they go where they're finding Roman artifacts like Roman pots and stuff. And it's just, it's amazing for me. And it's a rabbit hole. My wife and I will start watching it. And next thing you know, we've gone through like 10 videos. It's addictive. It's addictive. And I want to go there. Karen and I want to go to, to London and do a mudlarking vacation one of these days. Huh? Okay. What is you, What do you do for a day job when you're not making YouTube videos? Well, I retired. I was a police officer for San Diego Police Department for 30 years. I retired in 2019. Uh, while I was working with the department, one of the things I did was I was an instructor for vehicle operations. I ran the program the last five years of my career, and I'm still an instructor. I still teach uh, driving for the San Diego Police Department, for, actually for the regional academy. So I, I'm an instructor. I get paid by the college district for teaching the driving. So you're the one that teaches the cops to ride on two, two yes. wheels like that? Everything. We start out very slow speed <laughs> stuff, and then... We, culminates on the last teaching day, uh, the high speed, the pursuits. All right. If money was not an object, what would you do with your time all day long? Probably cook. Um, <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> I would want to do a lot more traveling than I do now. And I, I love the outdoors. So 
spending time in the mountains, fishing. Fishing, propelling, hiking, rock climbing. Yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> and that's five questions with Ballistic Barbecue.